yo, what's up? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you are watching this episode, I would like to welcome you to another episode of the DJ Chronicles with me, your boy DJ Jimmy Hustle. Uh, today is going to be a very long day. Um, I got out early this morning and ate with my family at my number one spot that I love to eat for breakfast, which is Bob Evans. Yes, as you can see, I had my three egg omelet with a side of grits and them pancakes. Look at them pancakes. They look so good. Wait until I put that syrup on it. Oh, there it go. Oh my God. Yes, that looks so good. I tore it up. Yes, I did. And I was uh, able to share a good time with my family. Look at them, they so cute. And uh, look at my son, man. We both dressed alike. That was not, uh, I was not trying to do that at all. As you can see, I got on Superman and he got on Spider-Man. Uh, we just won Marvel father and son duo other than that man um, like I said I ate with them and now I'm on the road to uh, St. Augustine for Health Sciences University uh, they have an event that starts at 1130 so I gotta be there um, hopefully by 10 o'clock so I can set up and uh, do my thing but uh, that's gonna be two hours and guess what y'all I got another event right after that so let's hear some let's make some noise for me but yeah man after i do this event then i have to uh get back to jacksonville and uh get myself together and get ready for another event at the san jose country club and that's gonna be from 6 30 to 11 30 so that's four hours so two hours with this one and then four hours later on tonight and y'all gonna see all of it in one episode so i'm gonna try to cut it as short as i can but Hopefully I can get a lot of powerful content for y'all to see. Other than that, I'm about to get back on this road and focus on this road. But these jokers out here are tripping and the popos are out. So uh, next time you see me, you will see me at the venue. Peace.
all right that is a wrap boys and girls um that is the end of the first event it went from 11:30 to actually one because the students had to go back to class so they was ready to go after they ate so which is fine with me because uh, i got to get back to jacksonville and get ready for round two um i do want to share something with y'all it may be tmi but uh like i said this morning i went to bob evans and got me a big old omelet grits and some pancakes and when I got all the way down here to St. Augustine, guess what? I had to go. <laughs> so I was already you know, pressed for time. And uh, if it wasn't for me going ahead and buying a uh, little hand dolly, it took out like two or three trips. So I was able to get in the van, unload, and get everything up to the third floor and still have enough time to set up. And I still uh, got everything up at 11.30. So, but if I didn't have that cart, I would've been in some deep trouble, a deep doo-doo. But anyway, uh, I was able to get everything up and uh, everything rocking and rolling by 11.30. So I thank God that I went and got this uh, little hand dolly. It was only $15, but I have a big one coming. I had to order it from Amazon and uh, it should be here next week. So, um, but I went and bought the $15 one just to have for today and it worked out perfect. It was $15, but it was definitely priceless. So, I'm about to go back home and uh, get ready for the next round. But check this out. See how the God works? The God that we serve works? Look at this pizza. They bought so much pizza that they had to give it away. And guess who they gave one to? Your boy. So, I'm about to go home and tell this large pizza by myself. I mean, no, nah, I mean, I won't do that. I'll leave some for my wife and my son. But uh, I'm definitely going to get full off of it, I'll tell you that. And um, after that, man, we're going to change clothes and get ready for round two, which is tonight at 6.30. So I'm about to drive back to Jacksonville, and I will see y'all for the next round. Let's go. y'all right, it's gonna be a long day a long night I just got back I had just enough time to change clothes eat some pizza and uh, kind of relax just for about 30 minutes and now I'm back at it that's why I got this Mountain Dew kickstart um, to get me back in gear I went back and took my vitamins and everything so I can uh, jump get a jump start or something because uh, it's starting to show me now it's starting to get sleepy but uh, other than that I'm about to load this car up um, I'm doing a graduation party tonight, and they want the full Monty, man. They want everything. They want lights. They want, um, they got my subwoofer. Uh, this is going to be the first time I'm bringing out the subwoofer. Look at that big old thing. So I got to put this big old subwoofer in this van with the rest of my stuff on top of lights. So, um, yeah, I'm bringing everything tonight. So it's for a graduation party um, for a young crowd, 17, 18, man. So they're going to turn up tonight. Um, so kind of pressed for time so uh i'm gonna get this thing rolling man but y'all pray for me man because it's gonna be a long night but let's load up this van let's go y'all so check this out man i forgot to tell y'all that uh tonight i'm djing at a country club and it's gonna be two events happening at the same time um one i'm doing and there's another one that another dj is doing and they are wall to wall they are right by each other i don't know how this gonna work because um like i said they got me bringing my sound and i got my sub with me tonight and that thing hit pretty hard but um, the other DJ just pulled up. He unloaded his uh, trailer, and he got speakers like a mug in here. I don't even know what all he got because he already working and unloading. He got like it's like three speakers still in here. So I don't know what this guy got. Um, so it's gonna be pretty interesting, man. I don't know what's gonna happen tonight, but uh, it's already uh, looking like uh, it's about to go down. I don't know. <laughs> 
There's gonna be better DJs in here or something. I don't know what's about to go down, but um, just I'm serious. Look at this. Look at this jump. Look at this. Jump. Look, you see all that? Do you see that? You see all them speakers? That's just what he already done. He's probably already been here for like an hour already. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, dog. I don't know what's about to happen, bro. Oh, man, that's just crazy. Because I told her, I was like, when other DJs in here, you know, they may uh, overpower my sound. I don't know what's going to happen. She just said, turn it up. Blow him out of the water. And I was like, okay. I was like, hey, that's what you want, though. That's what you want to do. If you want to turn it into something like that, man. Uh, yeah, I see you staring. Me, I'm staring out because I'm looking at this stuff, man. This junk is crazy, though, but... I don't know what's going to happen, so we're going to see when we get in now. All right, so let's find out. All right, yeah, I just uh, got everything out the van. Uh, I did take some time and holler at the other DJ real quick. He goes by the name of DJ Jimmy Jams. His name is Jimmy, too. Who would have thought? Two Jimmys DJing at the same time in the same area. So uh, we are actually right across the hall from each other. Um, so they did think about us a little bit. They separate us a little bit, but still it's going to be jam packed loud because he is doing a sweet 16 party and I'm doing a graduation party. So that's teens on teens. So both of us going to have a wild party. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see how this night going to turn out. But, uh, I'm about to get back in here and, uh, set up everything and, uh, let y'all see what we working with tonight. Let's go. Big setup in another room, so we got a lot of work to do today. Let's go. after midnight i just made it back home and um yeah as you can see it was a wild one um we played some of everything tonight um you heard a lot of different 
<laughs> types of music. Uh, as far as the second event, man, it was straight. You know, um, I had a lot to set up. Um, I had a powerhouse sound system. Um, I was able to bring out my subwoofer for the first time. And uh, it pretty much rocked the house, man. It, like, the sound was amazing. Um, it wasn't um, made for the crowd, though, because the crowd wasn't that big. So I didn't have to turn uh, the system up that loud to uh, make a huge impact. Um, as far as this event, um, it was good. Um, I had a lot of work to do. Um, I had to set up uh, pretty much two systems. I had a little small setup in another room, and then I had my main setup in you know, the main room where the dance floor and everything was at where they were eating. So um, it took me like about an hour to set up everything with the lights and all that. Um, the client said they enjoyed everything. The uh, the young lady, Michelle, you know, she uh, graduated and she said she enjoyed it with her friends. Um, I don't know what's up with these kids these days. They don't dance no more. So you don't know what they, you know, you don't know what they thinking in their head, man. They over there taking pictures and stuff. But uh, other than that, man, they said everything was good. The grown-ups definitely killed it. They was dancing, as you can see um, in the video. Um, so, you know, it was a good night, man. But like I said, it's after midnight. Um, I haven't ate yet, so I'm about to eat again. Um, that pizza done wore off from earlier, so I'm about to eat. Um, they had hooked me up with another plate, thank God. So I'm definitely about to tear that up before I go to bed and... Um, now I got to go uh, put all this stuff in the house, man. So I'm going to talk to y'all later, man. But as you can see, I don't know if you hear my voice, but I am tired in the mug. So I'm going to go to bed after I do all that. But I'm going to go ahead and end this. The DJ Chronicles doubleheader with two events in one episode for the first time. You seen it, buddy. You seen it first. So that's what it is, man. Thank y'all for checking in, and I appreciate y'all.